gonna do advent of code day six today every day i'm gonna be doing one uh one day from advent of code and making videos about it so um if you want to see all the future ones make sure to uh subscribe and turn on notifications um but yeah today we're just gonna be doing day six all right day six custom customs as your flight approaches the regional airport where you'll switch to a much larger plane customs declaration forms are distributed to the passengers the form asks a series of 26 yes or no questions marked through Z. All you need to do is identify the questions for which anyone in your group answers yes. Since your group is just you, this doesn't take very long. However, the person sitting next to you seems to be experiencing a language barrier and asks if you can help. For each of the people in their group, you write down the questions for which they answer yes, one per line. For example, okay, okay. In this group, there are six questions to which anyone answered yes. A, B, C, X, Y, and Z. Okay. Duplicate answers to the same question don't count extra. Each uh, question counts at most once. Another group asks for your help, and then another, and eventually you've collected answers from every group on the plane, your puzzle input. Each group's answers are separated by a blank line, and within each group, <clears throat> each person's answers are on a single line. For example, gives an example. This list represents uh, answers from five groups, and then it just says, okay. In this example, the sum of these counts is 11. Okay. For each group, count the number of questions for which anyone answered yes. What is the sum of these counts? Okay, so basically we just need to identify the number of unique characters in each group. And we this shouldn't be too hard. So I'm just going to copy the input, paste it into here. Um, oh, shoot, i got to create the files. But okay, um, I guess it's time for the montage. All right, so we have our answer for part one, and we got six, four, four, three. And I hope that's right. Ooh, okay, that was right, that was right. Okay, I'm actually a little bit surprised. Um, also, just something I forgot to mention at the beginning, all the code is gonna be available in the uh, GitHub repository, which is linked in the description. All right, part two. As you finish the last group's customs declaration, you notice that you misread one word in the instruction. You don't need to identify the questions to which anyone answered yes. You need to identify the questions to which any everyone answered yes. Okay, so using the same example as above. Um, okay, so for example, if we have A, B, and C in a group, and these are the three people, then th this is zero because nobody answered yes to all of them. And if we have A, B, A, C, then A is the only question that everyone answered yes to. So... I guess we need to change this up. Um, yeah, okay. Let's, let's do this. All right, so we have an answer for part two. And our answer is three, two, three, two. And I got a feeling uh, I did something. Okay. No, we got it. We got it right again. Okay, so I better explain... Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, I forgot to explain part one, so I'm just going to do it all at the end here. Oh, okay, I apologize for that. But, um, yeah, I'm going to explain everything at the end this time. So, part one. We need to count the number of unique characters in every group, because we need just we just need to count all the characters that are present once. Um, so how we can do that is, <clears throat> basically, I just define this function here. It takes in... The input string for a group and this is basically just like for example it, it could be this so it doesn't contain any other groups um, and we apply a function to that and the function just transforms the entire string into a set so a set is basically a collection where every element is unique so it turns into a set and that means every character is only present once um, and that means we can just return the length of the set but also in the string there's a uh, new line characters so we need to ignore the new line characters if there weren't new line characters then we wouldn't need this we could just return the length of the set um, of turning the string into a set and that'd be it and so part one is pretty simple you just count the number of unique characters for part two we need to count the number of characters for which everyone answered yes so this is a little bit more i guess straightforward um maybe not straightforward but like easier to understand from this code so um, string.ascii lowercase, um, this is a built-in Python thing. It basically just represents all the lowercase English letters, A, B, C, D, E, all the way to Z. 
Um, for every single letter, we like loop through all the people and then we make sure that everyone has that letter. And if someone doesn't have that letter, then that letter doesn't count. But if everybody does have that letter, then we add one to our count. Um, and our count is basically just counting how many letters or questions that everyone answered yes to. Um, and at the end, we just return the counts. And yeah, and then we just sum together um, the count for the, the we just sum together the count of all the questions that are unique for every single group. And that is the code over here. And that's pretty simple. So yeah, I think this day was a little bit easier than yesterday, perhaps. Um, but yeah, it, it was it was pretty good. Um, I like this one. Um, my apologies if this is a little bit late because it's kind of kind of late in the morning now. Um, usually I would have this out sooner, but yeah, hopefully that explanation was clear. Um, if you want to see more of these, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to be notified. Um, the playlist for all previous and possibly future videos, if you're watching this in the future, that's going to be in the description. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Hopefully this made sense. If you have feedback, please leave it in the comments. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for day six. I will be seeing you tomorrow. So goodbye and thanks for watching.